Viv. So you and your partner place down two cards. I place down a red seven, so that's a negative seven. My mar partner places down a black 10, which is a positive 10. So what we need to do is find, to add those two numbers together and find the value. In order to do that, one helpful thing we can do is use a number line. So here I have a number line and I can first mark the 10 over here. And I'm marking the 10 because I have a positive 10, a black 10. Next, I also have a red or a negative 7. So watch how I do this on the number line. I started with the positive 10 and I'm going to count backwards towards 0, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's the value of a positive 10 and a negative 7. It's the same as 10 minus 7, and the answer is 3. You could also start with the negative 7. So we'll find the negative 7 down here. And then we'll count to the right 10, because we're adding a 10 positive, positive 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And the answer is 3. Negative 7 plus 10 is 3. And that's the same value as positive 10 plus negative 7. That's 3. So then now, because we're still learning this, I would take a card and my partner would take a card and we draw again. This time, I draw a negative 6 and my partner draws a negative 10. If you have two negative numbers, you still add them together and they st but they stay negative. So for example, if this was a positive 10 and this was a positive 6, it would end up being positive 16. But because they're both negative, we add negative 10 plus negative 6 and we get negative 16. And again, because we're practicing this together, I'll take a card and my partner will take a card. Next, I draw a black 6 and my partner draws a negative 2. Let's use the number line to figure out what to do. So I have a positive 6 and a negative 2, so I count backwards. One. 2. And I get 4 as an answer. If I want to start with the negative 2 here, then I'll count to the right towards 0 6 places. Here's 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the answer either way we go is a positive 4. I'll take a card and my partner takes a card and we split it. If I draw a positive black 1 and a positive 4, this is when we battle. And the first person to say 5 gets to keep both cards. Let's try another negative and positive. I drew a positive 8. My partner drew a negative 5. Let's use the number line to see how it's done. So I'm going to start this time on the negative 5 side. So I identify negative 5, and then I'm going to count to the right 8 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the answer is 3. I can also start over here with the positive 8, and then count backwards towards 0 five places. So I start at the 8 and I move towards 0 five places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the answer is positive 3. I take a card, 
my partner takes a card. After you've played this game this way several times and you're comfortable with adding negative and positive numbers together and comfortable adding negative numbers to negative numbers, then you can battle on those as well and go for speed. But the point of this is to make sure that we understand, so we'll take our time first to learn and help each other. So I have a positive 8 or negative 8 and a positive 3. So I can start either on the negative side of the line, on the left side of the 0, or I can start on the positive side. This time I'll start on the negative side again. So I have a negative 8 and a positive 3. So I'll find the negative 8 and I'll move 3 places to the right towards 0. 1, 2, 3. And I get the answer negative 5. Let's check that using the other method. So I'll start with a positive 3 and I'll count to the left 8 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And either way, the answer is a negative 5. So hopefully this helps you figure out the correct way to play positive versus negative or negative versus positive, either way you want to say it, and helps you successfully complete your homework. Good luck.